So which board is almost same like Arduino Mega, however is a little faster or with more storage. Currently in market there are four available same number of IO pins similar to Arduino Mega and similar structure to Arduino Mega board. Second one is Arduino Duo. And the third is uh, Grand Central M4 Express and the fourth is Shield Body. Those are the most four available in market nowadays. Let's look at each one and the specifications of each one of them. Now, what is the pros and cons of this four boards? You can consider for that for Mega, the pros is actually easy to use and fast um, with very high support community in regards to programming. So you can find whatever issues you, you, you are dealing with Arduino Mega, you can find solution for it. It has a really uh, very large community. Uh, however, the cons you can consider it is a low speed and the storage if you are considering a big project or larger projects. On the other side, Arduino you is, is a very good actually in regards to the high speed and storage comparing to uh, to Mega Arduino Mega. However, the cons of it it's 3.3 logic voltage, which is uh, could be conflict with some of the sensors that you are going to use. Uh, however, there are some uh, converters now from uh, 5 volt uh, to 3.3 and vice versa that's available in market and very cheap. You can also consider to use it. Uh, also comparing to Mega, the community of the Arduino Duo is a bit low so if you are facing some uh, troubles or some troubleshooting you may not find it easily as uh, as if it's the same happen with Arduino Mega uh, the third board is Arduino uh, the, the uh, Adafruit Grand Central, the Grand Central M4 Express it's almost 4x higher than uh, Arduino Mega in regards to the storage and the speed is very high also comparing to uh, Arduino Mega. Um, the support community also, the community is not that much, uh, is very low, is lower than Arduino Duo and there is a lot of also of bugs, you can find it. Uh, and the library is also is not so much available for Arduino for, for this kind of board, for this M4 Express board. Uh, but the good thing is about it, it's actually, you can you can use uh, MicroPython with it. It's available and is very also useful for the people who love Python very much and not big fans of the C and C++ or Arduino language. And the fourth board is a Shield Body. Shield Body is really like, uh, like industrial, more than prototyping. However, it's really good to be to, to have such kind of board for prototyping uh, experimentations. It's really interesting. But the big problem with it, it's an actual tricore, as as you have seen that is a tricore, and I will talk about it a little bit more uh, later. And it has the highest speed on market now, regarding to the same, almost same, like with same I/O uh, input output logic. Uh, also, five volt voltage. 
the problem is uh, regardless of price but the community is very low support community is like very few people almost you can count on your hand <laughs> that have used this port it's not very common uh, the bugs also is have some bugs um, even though the oryx it's a very famous uh, processor company um, yeah and libraries is not that much common also you cannot find so many examples for it or tutorials or anything If you are interested in this board, that uh, shield body, you can find more information on the Oryx Infineon uh, website, um, and also how to read about the uh, specification of it, the TC375, what does it mean, and this 96, all this stuff. So this is one example of it. On the other side, uh, if we open the Arduino uh, ID, and uh, here I'm just giving example of how the shield body tricores will be programmed. It's too easy actually to find the loops or has been decided, uh, defined into three, the setup and loop defined into three, zero and two and, uh, and three, zero and sorry, zero and one and two. Also regards to the, um, uh, the port selection, you can download just the OR it's called EUR, EUR do you know? And you can find it in, uh, you can download it at EXE or you can just find it from the uh, board manager from the Arduino IDE. And uh, there, is, there are two, you have to make sure about your uh, board version. There is 275 and there is 375. So each of one, each of each one of them have its own board, board file and libraries also. In regards to the uh, central, the M4 Express, um, you can download the M4 Express, all the M4 Express versions or M, M Express versions anyway. So you can find M0, M4, so you can like, uh, in case that you are going to buy more from it, the other fruit uh, boards. Uh, other can find some examples, very interesting examples. And this is usually what I'm using when I buy new boards that is not so common, like shield body. I usually try to download the port as an example for it so I can learn from it more yeah that's all so you have a try and this is the answer for your question that which port is better than Arduino Mega but have the same exact same IO numbers IO bin numbers see you guys